Welcome to this special feature from Total Eclipse DFW. Today we sat down with Deb Ross, publisher and CEO of KidsOutAndAbout.com and BeyondTheNest.com, co-chair of the American Astronomical Society's National Eclipse Task Force and chairperson of the Rochester Eclipse Task Force to talk about the upcoming total solar eclipse in DFW on April 8th. Thank you, Deb, for sharing your insights with us. How are communities preparing for the 2024 total solar eclipse? So um, different regions are preparing differently. One of the things that you get to do is to make this moment that, you know, the most of this moment in, well, I was going to say the spotlight, but the shadow, make the most of the moment in the shadow um, is to show off who you are and to tap into your particular identity. That is part, that's going to be part of the eclipse story of anyone visiting who they're going to take, in your case, they're going to take the DFW area home in their hearts. What is it that you want to be part of that story? And that's how every community should approach it. So um, tiny towns that are likely to see big influxes are making the most of what they do. So the tiny town of Vincennes, Indiana is basing lots of it on music. They don't have sort of natural wonders surrounding them, but they do have a lot of musicians. And so they're doing all kinds of music activities. What we decided to do here was to encourage lots of art sponsored activities. We have, um, the, for example, the night before the eclipse, the Rochester Philharmonic Orchestra is world premiering an eclipse suite by composer Jeff Tyzik. And uh, so in the in the arena, in the Blue Cross Arena, so it's, you know, to an amazing light show. We are the city that made light fun because we have optics and photonics. So we're made, like we're the optics and photonics capital of the world. We had Kodak, we had Xerox, we had Bausch and Lomb. We are lenses, right? We are light. We play with light. So that's our theme, right? So having, but it's not a top-down directed theme. It's a bottom-up theme where by inspiring people as early as possible, basically it's do your thing, don't worry about the elected officials. And by being together and all of us shouting about what everybody else is doing, then the sense of abundance of what is happening is the thing that's gonna sell travel itineraries planned out and ahead or last minute. Um, abundance, fun, puns for one thing. So, you know, calling, using um, the, the sun, moon, eclipse, stars, anything like that. So we have a five woman comedy troupe that's been together for uh, 20 years. And so they've made a whole new show. Uh, they're called Estro Fest. So Estro Fest, embrace the lunacy. And so it's like a play on moon, right? With lunacy. So like as many puns as possible. Um, we've got a history, bunch of history itineraries. We have Susan B. Anthony was here. We have the George Eastman Museum, which is the history of lenses and photography. We have a 19th century village called Genesee Country Village. So imagine all these 19th century houses, they're renting out those houses so that your party can go there and you can have a party, like one of those houses is yours. So you could wander around the grounds, be with either the thousands of people out on the big meadow or you could wander off and have a spiritual experience on your own. So again, it's the creativity that this has spurred by building an, a bandwagon and telling everybody, we'll shout about whatever you're doing. That has been the very simple strategy and it has worked. 